Hey guys, it's your friend Min here. Today I want to show off a deck that I've been working on. The deck has done reasonably well so far, and the current version is actually 15 and 1, somehow. And it's a Jade Rogue. But as usual, if you don't want to hear me talk, just click on Shaku and a link will take you to the games. Mr. Shaku. Alright, so let's get into it. So, this Jade Rogue has quite a few different components that seem to help you win against a variety of different opponents, not just aggro and not just control. It is essentially built like the Malagos Rogue that I enjoyed a lot in Season 32 before MSG rolled out. In that sense, it has a lot of the same removal tools, uh, swing cards and draw tools as Malagos Rogue. I'm going to put the list beside this list now to compare. As you can see, less than half the deck, only 13 cards are different. These would be uh, Journey Below, Mistress Mixtures, Jade Shuriken, Jade Swarmer, uh, Unearthed Raptor, Jade Spirit, Eye of Black Pot, and Nazoth and Corruptor. I don't think I missed any, but if I did, well, shit. Um, yeah, so first I want to talk about the newer cards and not, not really talk about the older cards. So let's start off with Jade Shuriken. Um, this card is probably one of the most powerful cards that a Jade Rogue has. It's a lot. It's quite similar to Jade uh, Jade Lightning, which is in the arsenal of a Shaman. Also, oh, well, obviously, um, the mechanic where you're able to do damage and summon a minion is just extremely powerful in Hearthstone. The card essentially has the same effect as an SI Seven Agent. Um, but is for two mana and sometimes you can use a prep on it so you can just get it out for free which is just way better in a lot of scenarios than even an SI7 agent would be as you still get the body of the Jade Golem but you also get the value of the spell so Jade Shuriken is actually a quicker and better card than SI7 agent um, and replaces it really well in this deck uh, next, I want to talk about, I guess, the Swarmer and Aya Blackpaw. These are pretty, pretty powerful in this deck, obviously, as they're Nazoth targets as well as just Jade, um, as well as the, they'll be able to speed up your Jade clock a little bit um, when they're played. They also force your opponent to shapeshift the minions or deal with them again later. This is also where Journey Willow comes in, uh, as even if they do Hex or Poly Aya, uh, you can be like, well, yeah, that's nice, and pull another Aya out of Journey Below, or maybe even two Ayas out of Journey Below, or even if you can't pull an Aya, sometimes you'll just get Swarmers, which is fine. Sometimes you'll even get really, un sometimes you'll get really unlucky, but they're, the pool of Death Rattle minions is actually pretty damn small these days so you can probably pull out a swarmer or a black paw on most of those most of those draws um jade spirit also obviously there just to speed up your jade clock uh, a little bit and just put bigger jades on the board when you finally do drop nazoth or just uh yeah it's it's pretty obvious um, the Raptor is possibly the most questionable card in the deck, actually, which is kind of funny because you'd think the Raptor would be good, but there's only a few Death Rattles, um, so that's why there's only one of them. The good thing about the Raptor is it is versatile, as you can maybe just use it on a Mistress of Mixtures for a bit more healing, or you can maybe just use it on a Jade Swarmer. It's, it's essentially just the versatility that's really useful in this card, I feel. So, um, yeah. With Malagos Rogue, you used to use removal and massive amounts of card draw until you f could find lethal, usually with Malagos and Thorson in combination. This deck kind of takes the same idea, however, instead of waiting for a big combo, you're putting minions on board while efficiently removing your opponent's minions, and you are actually saving them to a big combo with Nazoth, because you'll be able to sh summon a bunch of Jade Swarmers and... I have black pot back. You can keep tempo and push them back while removing pretty much everything they can play. Um, all of the very efficient removal tools in Rogue will 
definitely help with this. And sometimes you can even pull this off while drawing tons of cards off of an auctioneer. Um, prep also is still an amazing card and can still allow for some ridiculous swing plays. Uh, you can throw down Eye of Black Paw, prep out of Sap. Their Eye of Black Paw is the only thing with another Jade on the board against, like, if your opponent played a big massive thing or they played a bunch of small things, you can prep out a fan, play a big minion, just. It's just such a such a good card. I could go on for days about how prep is probably one of the better cards in Rogue, but I'll probably end it there. Um, so yeah, that's that's the Jade Rogue that uh, I developed. Hopefully it continues to do well. I uh, probably will post a few more videos if it does. And um, yeah, uh, so thanks for, thanks for listening, guys. If you've gotten this far and enjoyed the video, um, please leave a like, leave a comment subscribe it would really help me out um have a good day um Hmm. I don't know how to mess with it. But... <sighs> Actually, I'm not going to do that this turn. Just because he can weapon it. Yeah. That thing. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have a pretty exciting turn five, I guess, but yeah, for now, I'm kind of just doing stuff. I actually almost don't want to do anything. I'll probably just like weapon next turn and pass. I'll coin backstab with the auctioneer. I have so many good spells here. It could be really greedy. That's what I'm saying. It all kind of depends if he takes a slow turn. If he takes a slow turn or if I draw a spell, then I'm gonna take a slow turn as well. The only thing I'm not looking for really is the Jade Spirit. Jade Spirit would kind of suck. I mean, it wouldn't be bad, but it wouldn't be great. Kind of just looking for like Totem Pass or like. Yeah, Totem Pass would be nice. He's thinking about Totem Pass, I think, but. Yeah. Totem pass. So he takes a slow turn and so do I. Cause I'm gonna go pretty crazy right now. <sighs> Hopefully he summons some decent minions here. Um, shadow strike the face. That's probably gonna happen. Ooh. Um. Yeah, there we go. I'm okay with that. 
I'm gonna jade lightning it, but like, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Uh, actually, I want to do prep. I said do backstab, backstab. Journey blow. Oh yeah. That's nine cards too. Perfect. I kinda didn't really care. Well, I did care. I don't really want to get milled. But that was a really ridiculously amazing turn, so yeah, it's okay with me. See here. Um, this will probably get hexed. I really don't want to spell totem to live. So yeah, I'll probably just do this. This, and then that. Kinda sucks, I don't really want to just hit the spell totem, I kinda wanted to hit the actual jade, but... It is what it is, man. Also, once his hexes are gone, then I can make a massive bank cleave. Well, maybe. I still have Azure Drakes, I still have stuff to draw with, I still have Toto or Jades. I pretty much just replaced that entire hand of spells with viable things to play. And I have another gadget since so I'm gonna keep the prep. Also now I'm equal on the Jade clock right now. He's probably gonna lightning storm. Fine. I mean, yeah, that's fine. It's not great, it's fine. That's a little. It's a little patches the pirate. Pre patches the pirate meta. Let's see. Do I want to go prep fan? Jade Van Cleese. I mean, that seems okay, right? I kind of want to get out, yeah, the Jade, and I want to, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that's happening. Does that change my play? Not really, does it? Yeah. Okay, that would happen. He's got another one. Probably been holding it for a while. It's just I um, yeah. Let's see. Kind of want to play this, and I kind of want to play the thumbnail. So I think that's the turn. That's the turn I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna go with this. Oh, that's hilarious. 
Is the Aya good enough? Like, could I just play the Aya? I can attack with this, right? So if I play the Aya, I can just hit... Uh, hit there. Eviscerate. And then next turn would be Nozoth, right? Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. Okay. That's two eyes. There's the second X. I knew he had another one. He's been one like saving it for the longest time, but it doesn't really matter. I could just I could actually just held off on the Zoth just for one turn. Yeah. Zoth isn't like amazing and I still have another I uh Yeah, let's just here, let's play this too, right? It's another Nazoth thing. Nah, I'm gonna play a Shadow Strike, what am I saying? <sighs> what could he Nazoth? Probably like nothing really. Not a whole lot, at least. Plus six. Let's see. I can easily kill him, right? Ten, two. Yeah, this is lethal. GG's. Forces him to coin out a weapon if he wants to kill it, which makes this turn two probably a little awkward, at least. Because he's overloaded by one mana. If he doesn't kill it and just plays a one drop, then I can probably kill them both. Now he's gonna probably play the weapon. Oh, these suck ass. This one's like the cheapest I could play. This one's... Um, I have to kind of get this one. That's not too good. Hmm. 
I just want to play that crap. Fine. I'm not gonna backstab. Backstab as an eviscerate uh, trigger next turn. Shadow streak exists, I guess, but I don't think this will be useful. Let's see. Really did not want to get that card. But I did, so. It's not great. Yeah, it's not even good right now. Shadow Strike to Shuriken. Hmm. What am I doing? Why did I hit that? I just realized that was stupid. Yeah. I don't know what I just did there, that was weird. <laughs> nah, man. That was the best play. Trust. Next turn, I just wanted to make sure I had these two spells available for the Adjison, but I don't know. We're gonna see how well this works out. This is gonna kill off that. And my little one. Okay, yeah, so. So, what do I do here? Probably gonna have to backstab a totem. Backstab. That totem. That's kind of shit. Eviscerate this thing. I can do that thing, and then I'm just going to save my weapon. Oh man, not looking good though. My hand. It's really awkward. I haven't played a lot of fucking, uh, a lot of death rattles here. <sighs> That's fine. It's actually a really fine. Is that all he's doing? Damn, dude. You did not want to use that. That is nice. What reason that? Yeah. I 
fine. May as well get as much value out of my cards as I can while I can, and then I'll play this off. Just look at all these death rattles that are still in my deck. And I still have a journey below, like I haven't really played shit off of death rattles. I played that Lepernome. That was pretty much it, right? Like <laughs> Yeah. Well there's something. I'll probably have a second hex by now though. But, that's what I'm going with. Do have 13 cards? Eh, it's questionable. He might have his axe, he might not have it. He had to use it on the guy just since, so that was kind of nice. Kind of really nice. We got the eye dying here. If I don't draw any draw, I'm... Okay, that's probably going to go down. Next turn is probably in his off because now I actually have a couple of good death rattles. That's awkward. I think that's right. There we go. That's enough death rattles. Maelstrom portal. That's spell totem. Of course he rolls the fucking spell totem. The fuck? The Battle of the Jade Armies don't high roll my fucking Azadrake. 
Of course. Of course you high roll my fucking ass, Jake. And you get a taunt him. Oh man. I love this game sometimes. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, man. Okay. Fine. Hmm. It was just fucking stupid, man. He needs more healing. The Todd totem isn't enough. You should have also tried to roll for it before. <sighs> that was a really good game. Crabmaster, you are, you are okay in my books. All right. I don't think Shadow Strike's good enough on its own. That is a good removal tool, though. He's aggro, it's bad. Yeah, it might not be aggro. Yeah, probably aggro. Hit it. Hmm. 
That is why. Okay then. Getting bigger pretty quick. Jade Swarmer. Good times, good times. Are you? I have Nazoth in my hand, so it's not like I need to actually draw a lot of cards. I don't even care. I'll take the one damage on these things. <laughs> what now? Yeah, fan will make it so I don't have to kill these two things, and then it'll survive. Yeah, it's not too bad. Weapon. Two J Colum. I actually don't have any spells, so fuck it. This is going down next turn. And he's gonna probably concede after. Oh maybe. I've killed off his big threats. He just has like what tiny little threats, maybe Bleeder or Jenkins. Maybe another one of the um flame tongues. No flame tongue. Yeah. Let's say uh, let's just do this then. Yeah, why not? Yeah, fuck it. Why not, right? Let's just do shit, I don't care. You're a shaman, you just do shit. I'm just a rogue, I just do shit. That's all. That is all. Ooh. That's cool. You know, that's nice. Actually, fuck it. I'd rather get rid of this thing. Yeah, go away. How many fucks I give? Play it completely incorrectly, because I give no shits. The Jade Army rises. 